Hi, this is Pete at Berger Arcade at BergerArcade.com and today I wanted to show a product that I found uh, probably about six months ago. Uh, maybe not quite that long, but at least uh, near the beginning of the year. And uh, I've been watching it grow and grow and uh, today I wanted to show everyone the latest release of it. And I'm not really sure the pronunciation of this product. I just keep calling it Osseum. Uh, let me go ahead and open up Unity. And uh, this is it. Uh, you might be looking at it going, well, what exactly is it? Well, it allows you to actually hook up uh, web pages or basically web content inside of your Uni Unity application. Uh, so if I were to go over to the scene view here, well, notice that all I really have here is just a plane. And uh, if I go ahead and actually stop this and we take a look, there's just a plane, a camera, and a directional light. And when I start this up uh, in the inspector on the plane, I can tell it what address to start off uh, going to, and of course the size and width of the plane. And this here is bringing me to their uh, website. I'm actually not going to their main page. Mm -hmm. uh, here's their main page, and of course I also have this open in a browser. Uh, if people want to see what the actual URL is, uh, just let me open up this browser window for you. Uh, Sonium or Osseum. <laughs> but anyway, here's the address if you want to go take a look. Uh, they do have different packages and I'm going to actually uh, cruise the site in the actual plugin itself. Uh, so if we come down, I'm, well if you come down to the downloads, we'll just go right across. Uh, we'll take a look. There's a Windows download and a Mac OS version. And uh, if we go ahead and look at the licensing, uh, there's three different types of licensing. There's a free license, the pro license, and the source code license. Uh, the one I'm probably going to be playing around with is the free license, which is free for indie companies. Uh, if your indie company makes a 100k or less a year, uh, it's also free for commercial use and free for evaluation. Of course, they have a little uh, button here to click for the link more, which will load up a little bit more information if you want. And let's go over to the support. And well, they've got some forms. You can go ahead. Uh, there's a few people in here. Uh, talking about Unity 3D with it. Uh, there's a few really cool things that they have on their site. If I just go ahead and stop this, we'll go to the actual website. Uh, the screen's a little bit bigger, so we can see a little bit more. Uh, that little demo that I'm demonstrating actually comes with uh, a tutorial that they have, and that's at labs.osseum.com. Now they have one for just regular C Sharp, and then they have one for integrating it with Unity 3D. Now we have had quite a few problems with this so far here at uh, Bergsberg Arcade, uh, but we have had some uh, marginal success with it. We managed to get the live stream actually playing in the web player, and we've also actually this morning we got a, an actual Unity game, web-based game, uh, playing on a web page inside of the plugin itself. So it was actually, you know, you're playing Unity inside of Unity, which is kind of cool. Uh, but most of the time it just crashes. It seems to have trouble with Flash. Uh, even going to play pages like YouTube, we're having trouble with. Uh, if we try to go, to, we try to start the demo up on full screen. It also crashes. So if uh, some of the awesome devs are out there and they want to see what's going on, I've just gone through and followed the tutorial. Now I've got my plugin. The only thing different I've done is put my DLL into a plugins folder. And when I hit play, it just crashes. Ta-da! I haven't actually really gone through and taken a look to see what crashed. Uh, Mono's pretty notorious for not liking unmanaged code, but anyway, uh, it just crashes. But uh, I definitely recommend going ahead, running through the tutorial. Uh, they said that at the end here, they're going to have another one coming up, which will integrate a, a more uh, more complex examples. And I actually think it's going to be really good. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to look at, but it's not something I'll probably use too much as most of my development is geared towards web development. And uh, since you have this DLL file, you're not going to be able to deploy it on the web, uh, at least not without trying to figure out some way to uh, sneak around Unity's security settings. And you know, it, it can't load this, this uh, DLL up on its own, uh, at least not in a web version. Standalone version, you should have no problem at all. But anyway, go ahead and check it out and uh, let me know down below what you think of it. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.